We all love carbs, but they are a dieter's worst nightmare. Well, what if I told you you could still eat your favorite ones and not pack on the pounds? Here to tell us how is Dr. Ravinia Brock. Welcome, Dr. Rowe. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Thank you. So you can keep your carbs and still maintain your weight. Absolutely. So the secret here is you're going to switch out those super fattening ingredients and replace them with healthier alternatives. And there's always more than one way to make a dish. So I'm going to show you how to keep the carbs, how to cut calories, how to cut your carbs and cut your calories. But you're going to savor the flavor of your most decadent oh, carb filled dish. I love dishes. this. All right. This is how this is going to work. We're going to see some of our favorite foods that are loaded with carbs. And if I can guess three out of four secret ingredients correctly, then someone in the audience is going home with five hundred dollars. Got the seat number right in here. All right. Let's start over here. The ultimate carb obviously is spaghetti. I mean, everybody loves spaghetti. C Curtis just made this dish. It's fantastic. Yeah. But sometimes traditional spaghetti is not the way to go. No, as a matter of fact, you know, it's the, it's the first thing you think of, though, when you think of pasta, right? right. When you think, so, so spaghetti. So first, you should know, though, that a usual bowl of a serving of spaghetti like this, spaghetti and meatballs, 54 carbs, 433 calories. Wow. Right? For, for just, just that size? For just that size. Wow. So for serving. So remember I told you it's about switching out the ingredients. Yes. And so now, if we switch out the ingredient in the pasta itself... I'm going to give you three choices, and okay. you're going to choose one, okay? You're going to help me, guys. All okay. right? So you're going to make your pasta using which of the following? Okay. A, black beans, no. B, edamame, or C, turnips. And then... Is that your final offer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, as it turns out, black beans. Oh, that was a good one. so smart. So smart. Here's the thing. This is my absolute favorite new pasta. And the reason is because it comes in at 17 carbs wow. with only 180 calories. That's fantastic. It's meaty, it's chewy, it textured. tastes good. It's and, and it keeps on paying off. It's 25 grams of protein that doesn't exist in other carbs it's usually in other pastas it's usually only seven grams fantastic yeah. okay let's move on to pizza yeah. always a troublemaker so yeah and your average you know slice of pizza is about 41 carbs Jeez. right 372 calories but there is a way that you can cut the carbs and the calories with the way you make the crust okay right all right so i'm going to ask you one thing that you can use to replace that dough is it A, flax meal, Ooh. B, cauliflower, or C, sweet potatoes? B. 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 People, people are saying B. People are saying B. B? B. Well, as B. it turns out, coming in. Gosh, you guys are good. Listen, you can slap. You can slash your carbs from 41 to 14 per serving when you use cauliflower to make your pizza crust. So the way you're going to do it is you take your cauliflower, you pop it into uh, a food processor, right. and then you're going to steam it a little bit. And then after it cools, you're going to mix it with all the ingredients in the recipe on the website okay. that we're going to give the audience. And then you press it into a pizza shell wow, that's on a brilliant. baking sheet. Okay. And it's done. Excellent. All right. Two for two here, guys. Uh, ice cream. How bad is this when it comes to carbs? So, so indulgent ice cream, right? Yeah. So an ash and, you know, a usual ice cream sundae is about 170 carbs. Yeah. So for a woman on a weight loss diet, yeah. about 1,200 calories, that's her whole, that's her carbs for the whole day. In just that one wow. meal. Okay. You see what I mean? Yes. But so how do I have a way for you to satisfy your sweet tooth and cut carbs and calories. All right, tell me, tell me. All right. I'm going to give you three choices. Okay. One, the, so A, watermelon. I don't like watermelon. B. <laughs> Better not be watermelon. B, okay. cottage cheese. I like cottage cheese. Well, you like cottage cheese now. Okay. Yeah. All right. C, <laughs> bananas. I say bananas, 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 yeah. C. Is it bananas? Yeah. I like to call 
called banana ice cream. This is my version of banana ice cream. So what you do is you take the bananas, you add a, mix it with a little almond milk, and then you sprinkle it with a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Excellent. And and here's what you get: one cup of banana ice cream, three carbs, and only 100 calories. Excellent, Dr. Rose.